guys. Uh, I'm making this video today to talk to you a bit about Facebook. Uh, and I know I talk about it all the time and I'm going to keep talking about it until I see every Fit Tribe coach using Facebook properly. And the reason is I feel really strongly that Facebook is your most powerful business tool. And if you're not using this right, it's going to be really, really difficult to launch um, a career business. So this, I swear that wasn't me. I have a, a Boston Terrier in here snorting. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, like I said, it, it's going to, if you really are wanting this to be your career, or if you really just want to be even a diamond coach, uh, it's critical that you use Facebook properly. And there is very much a right and a wrong way. And um, the beauty is, though, is that your Facebook can be 100% unique, and it really should be. It, it Think of it as literally like the window to your soul. You want it to be so authentic that you can truly say that, that my Facebook is me. It portrays who you are. And that is far more important than anything else that you can do in your business as far as just um, marketing goes, okay? So um, I have a, a few listed points here I'm going to go over and then uh, if it gets really long I might make another one to follow it up. But this is something that you guys have to get and I'm going to help you until you get it, alright? So, okay, the first thing um, is to make sure that Facebook reflects you and the way you do this is um, you post three times a day and you can post a little bit more or a little bit less on some days but try to go for an average of three times a day and then at the end of each day you're gonna go to your own timeline and scroll down and see how you did that day and, and evaluate yourself um, ask yourself some questions you know did I um, did I post things that were genuine to me? Um, did I post links for people to buy stuff? Because you don't want to do that. That's not reflecting who you are. Um, did I post too much? Did I post too little? You know, whatever it is and just evaluate and so that you can do better the next day. And if you posted something that you're like, oh, it just makes you cringe that you posted it, delete it. It's totally fine. You know, this is, this is your timeline and it needs to reflect you. So I don't hesitate to delete things if I don't think that they're portraying what, what I want to portray. Okay? So the next thing is don't post about products that you don't personally connect with. Um, and the reason this is, is because again, your Facebook is about you. Uh, so for example, um, I will never do uh, the asylum. Uh, I did insanity, but I will never do insanity again either. So I don't post about those workouts. And because if I did, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be congruent with who I am. It doesn't mean that I won't connect customers to those programs if I think that they're right for them but I won't use those to attract people to me because they're not me. And I want to attract people like me. Those are gonna be my best teammates as people who I have um, things in common with, okay? So um, post about your experiences with the products you yourself are using or one that you you know are really looking forward to using or one that you've used in the past that's made a big impact on you because um, those are all things that are genuine, okay? Um, so the next thing is that when you are sharing, uh, particularly when you're sharing about the business or about your experience with the products, you want to weave a story uh, when you're sharing these things. Uh, so a lot of times what I'm seeing coaches do is they post, pie is on sale, oh my gosh, the challenge pack is only this much, get it here. Okay, now, how would you feel if you're scrolling through your, your, your news feed and these are your supposedly your friends and you see someone, come to my Jamberry nails party, the stuff's on sale. How likely are you to stop and be like, oh, what's going on with that sale? You know, no, we don't, we don't come to Facebook um, to, to be sold to. We come to Facebook to hear stories and connect with people. So that's what we have to do in our marketing. And um, when I started doing this, my business changed. So I wanna see all of you doing this, okay? So you're not pitching to your friends on your Facebook. What you're doing is you're telling a story because people connect with that, right? So you're gonna be vulnerable. You're gonna share your experience. You're gonna start with why, okay? So what, what we do is, is awesome. There's no doubt about it. And people are gonna to wanna to hear about it, but that's not what they're gonna connect with. What they're going to connect with is our story. So for example, um, let's say P90X 
I don't know, it doesn't even have to be on sale, but let's say I wanna make a post about P90X. What I could say is P90X uses, uses muscle confusion. It comes with 13 DVDs. Um, it's been proven to give people XYZ results. It's an awesome program. Okay, all that's true, but not many people are gonna stop to read that story. They're just gonna be like, oh, okay, whatever, and scroll past it because who cares? But now, let's say I posted, uh, I used to be 100 pounds overweight. I managed to lose 25 pounds on my own, which was awesome, but I still struggled and I did not know what to do for exercise. And my coach shared P90X with me and it was so hard. It took me closer to 120 days to finish it because it was just a really challenging program from all the muscle confusion and the long workouts. But you know what? I did it and I did it and it changed my life. Um, here's my before and after pictures. You know, if you'd like to do this with me in a challenge group, I'd love to pay it forward and help you. Okay, so if somebody sees that, they're like, wow, okay, she's opening up, she's telling us a story, um, it's a life-changing story. If she can do it, maybe I can too. She's offering to help. Okay, so you see how vastly different those two um, ways of marketing are. One gets results, one gets you, they click the little button to hide you because nobody wants to come to Facebook and be pitched to, all right? so. Um, the last point I'm going to cover in this video, because it is starting to get a little bit long, is that to keep your timeline clean, and what I mean by that is that it just is a place where people can come and see what you are about. So um, I really don't like to see coaches uh, posting a bunch of quizzes or resharing a bunch of funny memes. Um, those things are entertaining, but everybody sees them everywhere, and uh, as coaches, we aren't, we aren't like everyone else on Facebook. We don't just kind of get to be willy nilly and just share whatever if we want to be effective, which if you want to build this business to a career level or even to just get to be a diamond coach, you have to put yourself at a higher level of standard on Facebook, okay? So what I do sometimes, yeah, I just want to zone out for a minute and take some of those quizzes. So I'll take the quiz and I'll share the picture of it on a friend. Like, so let's say I have a friend who's posted one um, and I'll just share it there. So I'm still interacting with this person and having a little bit of fun, but I'm not cluttering up my timeline with um, things that don't reflect me. So, because um, you know, whoever my celebrity boyfriend is, is just kind of important, but you know, I'm just gonna keep it amongst my friends and not all over my timeline. All right, so does that make sense? Um, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna talk about today because I know that's a lot of information, but like I said, you guys, this is so important that I can't even count how many Facebook videos I've made, but, you know, I hope you wrote down notes or maybe I'll even just put notes in the description of this video because I want to make sure you guys get this because it really, really is the make or break of your business. Um, if your Facebook isn't powerful, it's going to be really hard to create a following. And, um, you know, we are a tribe and if we want our tribe to grow, we have to be someone worthy of following and, and you are, okay? There's no question that you are somebody worth following but nobody will know that unless you portray the proper image. And that's what I'm gonna help you do. Uh, so follow these steps and you'll be well on your way. And just be sure to evaluate yourself each night. Go to your timeline and take a look and then see if these points here that I shared are lining up with what you're doing, all right? So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be talking to you soon.